Thank you very much. And by that, not with a, a terrible delay, we are ending our first part. Uh, and we are going uh, to start our second part, which will focus on best practices and assistive technologies to promote inclusive employment. Um, uh, in order to shorten the uh, um, uh, delay that we have, I'm not going to start elaborating uh, on the accessibility features, but they are going to appear now in the chat. Uh, so both sign language, American Sign Language, Israeli Sign Language, captioning in English, simultaneous uh, translation in Ukraine and uh, in Hebrew, uh, and of course the uh, uh, captioning in Hebrew are all provided here. Look at the uh, chat if you need any help with that. Um, we had just concluded, whoever joined us just now, we just concluded two hours of really fascinating speakers uh and again i'm, I'm always so proud uh, um, to call so many of them uh, our friends and to do good uh together uh, we're diving in into the next uh, part i'm happy um um to invite to open this section uh one of really the leading organizations in israel who have a, a very important role in the involvement of inclusive employment in israel uh, I'm happy to invite Peter Lerner. He's the Director General of International Relations in Histadrut, the National Labor Organization uh, in Israel, to share their uh, best practice, winning on munici municipal level, a trade un union model in Israel. Peter, please. Thank you, Michal. It's a great honor to join you all this evening uh, from Tel Aviv. I'm a white 49-year-old uh, uh, man with a ginger beard and a dirty blonde hair. Um, I want to first of all thank um, Dr. Fidrov for inviting the Histad Root um, to share with you our experiences. And I also want to share, uh, thank uh, both Brennan and Anat for the sign, signing uh, this evening uh, and the hard work that they've been doing over the last uh, uh, several hours. Uh, Michal, you've been inspiring, and uh, the many, many speakers that we've heard um, this, uh, this afternoon have been empowering, and I, I would say from a, a personal perspective, um, bringing a lot of hope into the work that we do. So I'll, I'll try and dive in and, uh, and, and, and share with you if I can. Okay, so the Histabrut is the largest social movement in Israel. We, have, uh, we represent about 800,000 workers. Um, that, that are about 25% of the workforce. Uh, we have some 10,000 worker committees throughout the country, 27 affiliated unions, and we work through both private and public partnerships in building trust, involve, involvement in all of the stakeholders. And we do traditional trade unionism, obviously, but as a social movement, we have the responsibility also to touch on the core issues of society. And this is where our supervisor of employment of people with uh, uh, workers with uh, disabilities, um, we come in because we believe that it's not a charity, but a chance and an opportunity to bring an inclusive, uh, more inclusive society. And if uh, Daniela talked about the right to work, we talk about the right to decent work and we talk about the right for uh, uh, fair pay. So I'll dive right down and why is it actually a trade union issue, and why can municipalities, in our view, uh, be a regional hub? And we, what we found from our experience is that the municipal region can create both a supportive environment for individuals with disability to succeed in the world of work and promote a more inclusive society. We believe that partnering with businesses with, uh, on a regional level that to promote disability inclusion and accessibility in the workplace is key. We understand that, that there is a huge opportunity to offer job training, placement services to individuals with disability. We know and we've learned that creating accessible infrastructure is paramount and of most importance. And we, un we believe that promoting disability awareness and education for employers and employees to reduce the stigma and understanding of issues of workers with disability. Now, all of those things should be clear to everybody on the school. But what we found in Israel is that there are so many different partners playing into issues of accessibility that we each were traveling in their own route and their own activities. So what we created was a model where the Histadrut 
through its um, uh, connections on the workers' level, on the workplace level, through to the municipal level, and through to the national levels, is able to create a, an environment where everybody comes together. If we actually, in our work, work council capabilities, are, um, whether it's at the level of a municipality, where all of the municipalities in Israel are organized and are uh, beneath the, or, or subordinate to the General Federation of Labor in Israel, create an opportunity where we can actually reach out and touch the individual workers, the individual pe people with disabilities, and create a, a, a platform on the local level where people actually have access. So, for instance, if somebody, um, a person with disability, and it doesn't really matter what type of disability, did not reach out to his municipality, the municipality would never know that there is somebody with this, this individual with, with a disability that needed perhaps access or suggestions or work opportunities or so on. So we were able to connect the level of the National Insurance uh, uh, Institute to the level of the municipality and create the uh, work table, the joint work table, in order to bring um, uh, the individual and the individual needs um, to, to, to society. And we did it beginning in 2017, um, uh, uh, created a research model that helps us determine the two core issues, both qualitative needs and quantitative needs. The qualitative needs basically defined what are, uh, on the research level, what are the people with disabilities' specific needs? We went into, created, created a profile with each type of disability. What are the employers' need? What are, how, how can they employ more people with disabilities? What are the service providers, uh, whether it's uh, organizations dealing with uh, uh, people with mental disabilities, people with uh, uh, physical disabilities, and people with unseen disabilities, what are their, what are those organizations? What are their needs? What are their capabilities? And finally, what are the cities need? What are the employment capabilities within the, within the region? And we created a huge bank of information that did not exist beforehand. We added that to the quantitative, um, uh, research data that in many levels didn't even exist because of the disconnect between national and regional level. And therefore we created a, a, a data set of gender issues, of the types of different disabilities and the age group and different amount of people, because in one place um, from another, those figures, they, they differentiate and therefore then there is different responses and different needs that we came to. And in 2017, we approached the municipality of Eilat, which Eilat is um, the most southern city of Israel, usually known about for our tourism, uh, uh, the, the Red Sea, snorkeling, diving, beaches, water sports, and so ever. So, so much, but but it is a small town of around sixty thousand uh, residents, and in our research, we found that there are three thousand seven hundred people with disabilities. Out of those, fifty one percent of those are employed, and forty nine percent were unemployed. So, we created a program together with the municipality and the different social partners in order to respond to the needs of the individuals that are working, uh, uh, that want to work, uh, or want to approach the municipality or the authorities in order to receive response. And the municipality throughout the, 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 the period planned to actually respond to 60 people per year. And in the last year, they responded actually to 120 people uh, uh, in, in workplace uh, uh, related response. So okay. we've seen, thank you, we've seen an increase and in, 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 in unbelievable if you just put that into a simple figure of 20% of people that without this platform would have never known or never been reached out to. So if we took that, and this is, this is I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited over this plan because we have, if we are able to take 20% of people with disabilities in Israel and shift them into a position where they, if they want to work, they can, what a huge success this, this will be. And a lot, from our perspective, is a huge success. We expect that number of 120 to continue to rise because it, the people are feeling that they have a place and they have the information. And I'm happy to report, and this is my next slide. That and the last we, one, please. Sorry. I have this one yeah. and one more. Uh, uh, that this month, we are launching a similar program in Rishon Etzion, a, 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 a suburb of Tel Aviv, just in the south. We've already completed the research and we have the data. 
So we will be act, uh, in, in, uh, fulfilling the plan of action um, already this year. We have moved forward into Tel Aviv and they are uh, uh, re re completed a qualitative research. We're waiting on the quantitative information. They already have two employees that are nominated to deal with it. And we will also be moving to Ramat Gan. Our goal for 2023 is 10 cities nationwide, which will make a huge difference for people, with, uh, workers with disabilities uh, in Israel. Final slide, Michal, sorry. Um, and this is, uh, and it says the final words, and this is the, the secret source of success. The municipality needs to have to want this project to happen for it to be succeed, to, to, for it to, to succeed. The research is available. It needs to be gathered and, and put in a situation where it can be used. And the Labour councils and the Hisadrut are a central integrator in order to empower all of those forces because we are a social movement. And finally, our vision is that in 10 years' time, through this program, any, any person with disability that wants to work will be able. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for those last words and the dream. And, uh, you know, we have a dream and we're here to fulfill it. Uh, thank you uh, very much.